Hello and welcome back everyone. So today in this lecture, we will be discussing about the maximum recommended dose of a local anesthetic and how to calculate a maximum recommended dose for any specific patient. So maximum recommended dose is that dose of an agent that can be safely administered in majority of the patients. And this maximum recommended dose or in short MRD should not be exceeded if the side effects of an agent are to be avoided. Now almost every local anesthetic has a specific maximum recommended dose which is recommended by the FDA. This MRD is expressed in milligrams per kilogram of body weight or milligrams per pound of body weight depending upon the region that you are living in. Now if you want to calculate how much of a local anesthetic should be given to a single patient, we first need to understand how much of the actual drug is present in a single cartridge of a local anesthetic. So a cartridge generally has approximately 1.8 ml of total solution in which there is a specific percentage of a local anesthetic agent. So let's take an example of a normal cartridge containing 2% lidocaine. So we need to find out how much milligram of lidocaine is present in this cartridge that has approximately 1.8 ml of total solution. Now it is generally well established that 1 liter of a liquid is equal to 1 kilogram of mass of that same liquid. Or in other words, 1000 milliliter will be equal to 1000 grams. Therefore, 1 milliliter will also be equal to 1 gram. And as we also know that 1 gram contains 1000 milligrams. Therefore, 1 gram will also be equal to 1000 milligrams. So by the law of equivalence, we can easily equate both of these equations. So by that, we will have 1 milliliter is equal to 1000 milligrams. So if this all is clear, then the rest of the calculations are very straightforward. So since 1 milliliter is equal to 1000 milligrams, then 2% of 1 ml will be 20 milligrams. Now since the cartridge contains 1.8 ml of solution, so in order to calculate 2% of 1.8 ml, we simply need to multiply 20 by 1.8 and we will get 36 ml. So a cartridge containing 2% of lidocaine will have approximately 36 mg of local anesthetic lidocaine in it. A similar calculation can be done for any cartridge containing any specific percentage of a local anesthetic agent. For example, a cartridge containing 4% RTKN. So 4% of 1 ml will be 40 mg and therefore 4% of 1.8 ml will eventually be 72 mg. So this means that 72 mg of RTKN is present in a single cartridge of 4% RTKN. Similarly, 3% Mepivacaine cartridge will be 30 mg per 1 ml which will eventually mean that 54 mg of Mepivacaine is present in a single cartridge containing 3% Mepivacaine. So this was as a brief calculation on how to calculate the amount of local anesthetic agent present in a single cartridge. So now let's see how to calculate the number of cartridges that can be safely given to a specific patient. So like I previously mentioned, every local anesthetic agent has a specific maximum recommended dose that is expressed in milligrams per kilogram of body weight or per pound of body weight. So in order to know how to use these values clinically, let's take an example of a 22 year old healthy female who weighs approximately 50 kg. The dentist decides to give her anesthetic which contains 2% lidocaine with 1 parts per 100,000 of epinephrine solution. So as we know that a single cartridge having 2% lidocaine contains approximately 36 mg of lidocaine. And we also know that the MRD for lidocaine is 7 mg per kilogram of body weight. So we can simply multiply 7 by the weight of the female that is 50 kg. And we will have 350 mg. So this 350 mg is the MRD for the lidocaine for this female patient. Now to calculate the number of cartridges that can be administered safely to this patient, we will simply divide the MRD that is 350 to the amount of lidocaine that is present in a single cartridge that is 36. And we will get approximately 9 and 3 quarters. So the dentist can safely administer 9 and 3 additional quarters of 2% lidocaine cartridge into this female patient. So let's take another example of a 40 year old healthy male who weighs approximately 90 kg. He is to receive local anesthetic artricane that contains 4% artricane along with 1 parts per 200,000 epinephrine. So 4% artricane means that 72 mg is present in a single cartridge. 
and the MRD for artery gain is also 7 mg. So 7 will be multiplied by the weight of the patient that is 90 and we will get 630 mg. So this is the maximum recommended dose of artery gain for this specific patient. Now this MRD that is 630 is divided by the amount of artery gain present in a single cartridge that is 72 and we will get approximately 9. So 9 is the maximum amount of cartridges that this male patient can safely receive of 4% artery gain solution. So one problem that commonly arises regarding the calculation of dosage for local anesthetic is that how much dose shall be injected when two different local anesthetic cartridges containing two different agents are used. So there is no guaranteed formula for determining the number of maximum recommended dose for such cases. However, one method that is commonly used and recommended is that the total dose of both the anesthetics should not exceed the lower of the two maximum doses for the individual agent. So to explain this statement, let's take an example of a healthy 22 year old female who weighs approximately 45 kg. So the dentist decides to inject a local anesthetic solution containing mepivacaine 2% with levonorderefrain 1 parts by 20,000. So 2% solution of mepivacaine means that there is 36 mg of mepivacaine present per single cartridge and also the MRD for mepivacaine is 6.6 .6 mg per kilogram of body weight. So 6.6 .6 will be multiplied by the patient's weight that is 45, we will get 297 mg. So this 297 mg is the maximum recommended dose for this patient receiving mepivacaine. So the dentist first injects two cartridges of mepivacaine local anesthetic which equals to 72 mg of mepivacaine being received by this patient. But then the dentist realizes that the anesthesia is inadequate. So the dentist wishes to change to a local anesthetic solution containing 4% artery cane with 1 parts per 100,000 of epinephrine. So now we need to calculate the MRD of artery cane. So 4% artery cane means 72 mg is present per single cartridge and the MRD for artery cane is 7 mg. So 7 multiplied by 45 which is the weight of the patient we will get 315 mg. So this 315 mg is the maximum recommended dose for this patient receiving artery cane. But as we know that the total doses of both the local anesthetics should not exceed the lower of the two doses. So in this case we have two maximum recommended dose that is 297 mg and 315 mg but the lower value of the 2 is 297 mg. So 297 mg will be the maximum amount of local anesthetic that this patient can safely receive. But since she has already been given 2 cartridges of mepivacaine that were equal to 72 mg, therefore 72 will be subtracted for 297 and we will get 225 mg. So she can still receive 225 mg of RT cane. So by dividing the leftover 225 mg by 72 mg which is the amount of RT cane that was present in a single cartridge, we will get approximately 3. So 3 is the number of cartridges that this patient can still safely receive without facing the harmful effects of the overdose. So I hope everything is clear in this video on how to calculate the maximum recommended dose of any local anesthetic agent. So please stay safe, take care and goodbye.